terrible. Isn't that the singer? Lieutenant Colombo, this is Frank Pierce, the ship's doctor. And Mr. Fidel, one of our musicians. She hadn't returned to the bandstand after the intermission, so uh, Mr. Fidel came looking for her. When was that? Oh, 15, 20 minutes ago. Body's still warm. She left the bandstand about 11.15. Uh, Someone must have followed her to the cabin. Well, the room should be sealed. Nothing should be touched. Well, well, that's all very fine, Lieutenant, but we're nowhere near a port. We can't just leave the body here. That's right. We are at sea. I'd forgotten. Um, the problem, sir, is we have a murder on our hands. We have no lab technicians. We have no printing. Um, doctor, do you have paraffin? I'm afraid not. No. Um, Dicetamoline? Uh, no, sir. No. Well, maybe we ought to have at least a photo of the body before it's removed. One of the photographers that I see around the boat snapping pictures. It's a ship, Lieutenant. And I'd prefer we keep this as confidential as possible. After all, the passengers are on holiday. Yes, sir, I understand your concern, but we have to have photographs. Uh, I could always get Forbes, sir. He's a very discreet chap. Do that, will you? Forbes. I thought you detectives were hardened all this sort of thing. No, it's not that, sir. I I'm all right. It's just... Uh, I'll be fine. Uh, Captain, is it all right if I get back to my group? Is that all right, Lieutenant? Yes, that's all right. One thing, uh, excuse me. Your musicians, they were all on a break when this thing happened. We always break just after 11. But you can't suspect one of my band. No, sir. Um, it would just seem that whoever did this might know the ship's routine when the band breaks. I presume you say nothing about this for the moment, Mr. Bedell? Of course, sir. Did you, uh, did you notice the lipstick? The lipstick? Oh, yes, I saw the lipstick. Looks like the letter L. Well, what do you know? Burglary sure wasn't the motive. Doctor, where is the hospital? In the Rivera deck. You sure you're feeling all right, Lieutenant? No, sir, I can't say that I am. I think I'll take your purse's advice and drop by the hospital. Please, please go ahead. The, the nurse will take care of you. Thank you. Use the lift. Might be easier. Now, sir, I think I'll walk. An elevator is another one of my problems. I hope so, ma'am. I'm feeling a little rubbery. Uh, the purser said you'd have something. Oh, yes. Come this way. Just have a seat. The same thing happened to me last year. My wife and I was checked into this motel with a waterbed. I thought I was going to die. <laughs>
Here. Drink this. Go ahead, drink it. All the way, don't sip it. Oh, what is that stuff? <laughs> Just to rest and relax for a minute. Don't worry, I couldn't move if I had to. Okay, these are Dramamine. Wait for half an hour, take one, and then one every 24 hours, okay? Do you stay here all the time? I mean, when you're on duty? Well, Dr. Pierce and I are on 24-hour call. But, of course, there's always one of us here at all times for the patient in sick bay. Oh, there's a patient in there now? Mm-hmm. It's the gentleman that suffered the heart attack in the pool today. Ah, yes, I heard about that. Melissa! Melissa, would you come here, please, quickly? I beg your pardon. I didn't realize anybody was in here. Now, who are you? What's going on out there? I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to disturb you. Lieutenant Colombo, LAPD. Uh, I think we met this afternoon. I got a police officer on board a ship? Oh, no, sir. I'm just here on a vacation. You see, my wife, she's got this incredible luck. I think I told you. She won the whole trip on a raft. Right on, please. Uh, Mr. Danzig is a sick man. I'll be feeling better, sir. Just one more thing. 